Number two, women of Srebrenica, oil on canvas. In July 1995, Ratko Mladic's Serbian army first shelled, then his soldiers entered and commandeered the so-called safe area of Srebrenica. Over 30,000 Muslims ran towards the UN Protection Forces Potichari headquarters, hoping that the Dutch peacekeeping soldiers would protect them. Instead, they were handed over to the Serbs. The men tried to escape through the surrounding hills but were quickly captured and murdered. Many women were raped and robbed before their children and the very old were sent out of the area by buses, trucks and on foot to the nearest safe area, Tuzla, over 60 miles away. In this painting I try to express to the viewer the terror, desperation and trauma experienced by the women as they attempted to flee to safety. There are only a couple of younger men in the painting. They are barefooted and beaten as they support a wife or a sister to safety. If any men were found in a bus by the Serbs, they would be murdered. I included a half-starred little dog in the painting to demonstrate that when non-Serbs were ethnically cleansed in Bosnia, their pets and animals had to be left behind. In 2022, I donated this painting to Memoriam Nuremberg Trials in Germany. This was the court, now a museum, where the main Nazi war criminals charged with genocide against the Jews faced trial after the Second World War. In 2020, I was invited to speak in this place about the genocide in Bosnia. <laughs>